What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders Awakened and my complete progression playthrough. Taking a little break from the nightmare grind and it is time to get on into the Arcane Library. Now before we do that we do have some loot to go through and some points to apply. Let's get after it. Alright, so taking a look at what we've got, I actually, I see a lot of items that I can't equip yet, and it looks like the items I can on this character are not, uh, not ancient pieces, or pardon me, primitive pieces is what this guy is going for. So it looks like nothing on the Huntress I can equip quite yet, I'm gonna have to level up a little bit further, but we can take a look through... Oh wow, this character's primitive too. I need to switch that set up and not have those two using the same piece. Okay, now we've got some militia gear. What did we have for militia here? There's an equipable piece right there, and that fortify power and range. It's definitely a little bit of an upgrade, so we'll go ahead and take that item. And then what else do we have here? We've got Militia Boots that we can wear. Three power, two range rate. That's kind of debatable. I don't need the fort, but the four points of range is kind of nice on the current piece I have. But the additional power is nice as well. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I think I'll go ahead and take them. And it looks like that is actually it. Now let's take a look at our stats. Okay, it's time, I think, just to start dumping directly into power. Where are we at? We're at 43 power. Actually, we've got almost no rate on this guy. But I'm going to continue to go into power anyway. We're going to put all the points there. Our squire, of course, is our muscly boy that's uh, tanking it out with those walls. Let's see, what do we want for the huntress? we got power, range, and rate. Let's go more power. And then on the Monk, we're doing good on Fort Power Range Rate. We got great range there. Let's go right into power on all of those. Now let's go ahead and hop on in to the Arcane Library and get this next map going here. Uh, we're going to do that on hard mode, of course, and we're not ready for hardcore yet. So I'm going to leave that turned off. All right, so here we are in the Arcane Library. We're going to start off with 500 mana. Let's go ahead and just start right back at this far west gate. And let's just block this bad boy right off. And then let's go with an explosive trap here just to get the wave started. And then on these side panels, what do we want to do? I think... I'm actually going to block it, like, right back here. And we will go with an explosive trap once again. We will do the same thing over here. Yeah, let's block it right here. With an explosive... And then what else do we have? We've got two sides over here. Let's uh, just go ahead and double blockade this lane. We've got 290 left, so we're... I think we'll be able to get uh, at least some walls and explosive traps down here to get the wave started anyway. And then this one, we need lots and lots of blocks. One uh, curious little thing on this map is the enemies will walk the rail here, which means if you have a wall, say, like that, it seems like that's pretty good coverage from this lane. However, an enemy can walk right along this colored tile here and just walk right around. And sadly, I've learned that through experience. The very first time I ran this map, it was quite challenging with the ogres because they just kept walking around on me. So we're going to go with, we're going to over blockade the whole situation. And then let's get 
Do we want just one? Let's just go with one explosive trap right here from now. Anything that takes that little side lane there, I'll just have to kill those manually. So let's go ahead and get it started here. Wave one, here we come. We've got, what, just 11 enemies, so it should be a piece of cake here for wave number one. We're getting it, we're getting it. Get this guy wrecked right up. And then just one enemy left. It's actually over here. A little archer action. And there we go. Sorry, we've got some explosive traps now. Uh, one thing I really think we need to focus on is getting a little damage out here around the corners. So I'm going to go with a Strength Drain Aura right here. And then we'll go with a Flame Burst Tower. I'm going to put this Flame Burst right up on top of this little feature right here. Now, what do we want to do here? Here, I think it's kind of a no-brainer. We definitely want Flame Burst because they're going to cover this area really well. So let's get a Strength Drain. We'll kind of position it like that to try to cover both lanes. The coverage isn't perfect, but it should be enough to get that debuff on them anyway. And then let's go... Let's just go with two Flame Bursts to get started, and then we'll see what's left after we get the map built out just a little bit more. You know, we could just rinse and repeat this all the way around and go with, uh, what, another Strength Drain R here. And then we'll go with a Flame Burst back behind it, shooting this way. And then we can do the same thing right here. So let's go with another Flame Burst. And we'll get that Strength Drain in. Of course, the Strength Drain is so important because any mobs that make it to the wall, it's going to reduce the damage they do. But then it's also going to strip away any elemental immunities. And then let's stack this back area up a little bit. Let's go with uh, a Strength Drain or... Uh, Let's get an Electric Aura in there as well. And then we're actually going to be out of mana for the next wave. So we'll go ahead and get Wave 2 moving right along here. This map is absolutely beautiful. I've always, always loved this map. Um, ever since I very first saw it, it's just an absolutely wonderful map in all of the games that it's been in so far from Dungeon Defenders. But I do indeed love me some Arcane Library. Get these mages burned. One thing about this map is we will have a bunch of mages. So it could get a little bit challenging towards the end. We want to make sure we're burning mages wherever we can. And we actually cleared that out pretty darn quick. So not too shabby there. Now what else did we want to put here? Let's throw an upgrade on that trap. We could do something else over here. We do have 13 left. I tell you what, let's go with an Ensnare Aura right here as well. Just to kind of slow them down a little bit as they're progressing up. Or you know what? Instead of that Ensnare, let's go with a Trap instead. And we'll get a Gas Trap going. And a uh, Gas Trap is going to keep anything at bay. But it's going to keep it well inside of my Electric Aura. So that's good stuff. And then that leaves us 10 left. What do we want to do with 10? Well, it almost seems like the smart thing to do might be to go with another Flame Burst, say right here. And then just one more here in the middle. I do think, I'm not positive, I don't remember it on campaign, but I do think that this is where the Ogre action will occur. So I want to make sure... We are good and beefy right here at this main stairway going up to this crystal. All right, let's let it fly here. Just going to kind of run around and check where any issues might be. We got a update that came, what, yesterday that fixed the reload speed on weapons, and it is wonderful. I don't know if y'all remember last episode, but it took me all oh, about a month and a half to reload this particular gun, this exact same gun, and now the reload on it is just so much quicker, which is just awesome. Now there you see that gas trap in action. It does choke the enemies out, and they're still inside 
of my electric aura, so that is good stuff there. And I actually should have enough mana to really get some upgrades thrown around here now. Let's see, let's hit both of these up. We're doing pretty good. Now, where are all the bads? Looks like everything is killed off for the moment. We're waiting for a new round of them to spawn up and come on out. And I think this is the area to continue to upgrade. Like I said, I'm not positive, but I think this is going to be the ogre lane. This is kind of a main ogre junction on the survival maps. And to be honest, I haven't done this in so long on campaign that I'm unsure of where the ogres are actually going to come. Now we have something going on here. There's quite the delay. And here they come. They just took a nice extended break there. And looks like they're going to roll through that side. Let's go ahead and just wreck it up from right over here. Actually, the whole wave looks like it may be coming through there. Oh, there's some bads. Okay, now they're all coming out. It was just a little slow start. They had to get their coffee first. But they are out and in action and ready to go now. Four bands left. And there we go. So, all right, what do we want to do? Let's continue to jack this lane up. Let's get it just super healthy here. Now, I'm banking on this one lane an awful lot, so I'm hoping that that's where the ogre ends up going because I'm not sure, to be honest. Like I said, it's been a while since I did this on campaign, and I don't remember which lane the ogre actually chooses. Let's see, so we're looking good. You know what? I'm going to upgrade that electric aura, and then I'll just repair these strength drains here. So we're doing good. We'll get this uh, strength drain and trap repaired as well. And uh, here we go. Wave number four incoming. Oh, the mighty flame burst in action. Such a beast mode defense. There's just no doubt. Make sure those kobolds don't uh, give me any unnecessary hostilities. We're just about there. I haven't been bothering using my over, my uh, adrenaline rush, pardon me, because I'm holding it, as you see here. We finally got a snow ogre. So I'm waiting for the ogre to come out. And yeah, we'll be able to just put the paint on him now. Go ahead and stay up here. I don't want him taking any strange paths. Let's keep him right on path by the walls and let the flame burst just do their work here. He's just about down. And there we go. Ogreliciousness has been attended to. Now, we still have 48 mobs, though. This, I don't remember. I don't remember these large, large gaps. Or actually, I guess it's not. They're coming up the back through that far west lane here. So we can get over here and give a little bit of an assistance. Let's see. Let's get, uh, let's get that explosive upgraded. Let's get this aura upgraded. Let's actually hit that R twice, and that should make for a pretty easy uh, wave five as far as this uh, this far western lane goes, anyway. And just a few more dying off. They're coming out super, super slow, though. It may just be me. I've been playing a lot of Nightmare here, and of course, during Nightmare, they're just zerging around everywhere. It just feels like it's moving really, really slow now. I'm going to go ahead and hit all of these walls since I am jacked up with mana. Now, I do want to save a little bit. And the reason I want to save some is there could be multiple ogres this wave. And if there's multiple ogres, I want to have enough mana to repair if need be. Uh, repair or upgrade. Of course, an upgrade is going to be faster than a repair on a wall a lot of times. So sometimes it's more beneficial just to go ahead and upgrade it instead. Let's get that strength drain squared away. And I'm going to hold on to this 300. 
I will uh, throw a repair right over here though, just to be safe. We've got 298 total mobs this uh, this lane, so or this wave. So there will definitely be no shortage of baddies coming out. As soon as these kobolds get wrecked, we'll get down here and attend to that trap. There we go. Got lots of loot dropping. That is a good thing. And here comes ogre number one. I do want to take a quick look around the map. Make sure there's not another ogre anywhere. That uh, getting low over there is the gas trap, which I'm not overly concerned about. And here we go. Here's our second ogre. So let's try to bring the pain to this first ogre and get him wrecked before the second ogre even gets here. The flame bursts are, uh, they're shooting slow as all, as can be, but they are getting the job done. Our walls just now started to take a little dip of damage there. So more than enough to get this ogre squared away. This one can't decide what he wants to throw his snopball at, so he keeps turning around, and that's just basically giving us the free kill. Very nice. Just in case we get another push, we do still have 70 mobs coming, so you never know. Now I want to come over and check this side too. Let's go ahead and get a little repair action on all of these traps. We got us a Dark Elf Warrior. Best to just deal with that guy. And we're doing pretty good, only 15 mobs left, uh, dare I say. I think it might be good game here. Now, I don't want to jinx myself. But it seems like we could be in good shape. We got kobolds. It looks like uh, the final the final group may end up being a bunch of kobolds. And there we go. So that was the Arcane Library on hard mode in this full progression playthrough all the way through Dungeon Defenders Awakened. Uh, I have been grinding Nightmare a lot on my main account, as most of you know, and I plan to continue grinding Nightmare quite a bit. However, I will get through and get this playthrough finished up. As soon as we get done with the campaign, I will start jumping into some insane mode and see what we can do. So that will do it for now, though. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to click that like button and please subscribe to the channel. And I will be back soon with some more Dungeon Defenders in all its forms. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.